if you look at what's happening in the pipeline, uh, what you're seeing in terms of commodity prices are some very serious uh, declines, both from their peaks and year over year now. So that uh, is sort of, we would say that's upstream inflation uh, that is heading towards the PPI and then ultimately the CPI. So uh, we've got uh, gold prices. And in fact, I looked at them yesterday. I had thought that the last two years, gold had been trading within the uh, a 17 uh, 100 to nearly $2,100 range. And that's true, it has, and it has broken down. This is a really good leading indicator of inflation. What caught my surprise yesterday was looking at where gold was in 2011, it was roughly this level. So you can say for, since 2011, more than 10 years, we haven't had a big burst, in, a big breakout in the gold price. Uh, and, and that is informing our decision here. Gold is a leading indicator of inflation and it has not broken out, it is breaking down. And then the second thing that we're looking at is the uh, inventory glut around the world. Uh, and especially in the United States, it looks like some of the best supply chain managed companies in the world uh, had over, over ordered, they ignored their automated uh, enterprise resource planning system, so ERP systems, and double ordered, triple ordered, so that Nike, for example, its sales were up only three and a half percent globally uh, last quarter, and yet its inventories were up 44 percent. Uh, and in the United States, they were up 68 percent. And if you look at it in transit, they're up 85%. So uh, that's just one indication. We're seeing lots of inventory overhangs and and even online sales are suffering. Uh, Amazon just had its uh, second prime day and it showed no increase, uh, which is really from a year, year over year, which is uh, telling us that either units are down or prices are down. Uh, so I think the CPI that we got today is a lagging indicator. It always is a lagging indicator. And we're seeing a lot of prices in the pipeline that are falling. We compare what Chairman Fa uh, Powell is doing to what Chairman Volcker did in the late 70s, early 80s, when he was fighting an inflation problem that had been building for 15 years. Vietnam War, Great Society, closing the gold window. That was a real inflation problem uh, that built up over 15 years. This inflation problem has been 12 to 15 months uh, by the time the Fed started addressing it. And we think it's much more a function of supply chain imbalances caused by COVID and then again by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. These are very, very different circumstances. So what the Fed has done this time around is it has increased uh, interest rates. If they go another 75 basis points, which is very likely on November 2nd, they will have increased interest rates from 0.25 uh, to 4%. And that's a 16 fold increase. What did Volcker do in the early 80s? He took in interest rates from 10 to 20%. That's a two fold increase after, after consumers and businesses had gotten used to dealing with inflation and working around it over 15 years. This is a real shock to the system. And I do believe we will see the ramifications in many ways. We're seeing housing shutting down. Uh, and I think we're gonna see a lot of other activities shutting down as well. We believe we're in a recession and we believe this recession now will be sustained. Uh, and uh, if we see a, an increase in GDP, it's probably because either inventories are continuing to increase or imports are coming down as companies try to unwind their inventories. Well, what's interesting, I think many people are coming around to the idea that we're in a recession or we're going into a recession. Uh, the first two quarters uh, with real GDP growth negative uh, to us means we're in a recession. And um, now that many people are worried uh, and are beginning to see recession for as far as the eye can see, we are looking at this recession a little bit differently. We think it's going to be 
uh, a function of this massive inventory overhang and that it's going to be a serious inventory correction, but it's not going to be anything like we saw in 08, 09. Uh, that was a systemic financial problem uh, caused by the mortgage and financial meltdown. We don't think this is the same the same thing. So now that many economists are starting to agree with us that we're in a recession or going into a recession, we feel that they might become uh, a little bit too alarmist if this is just an inventory recession. Uh, and I think the Fed will have a lot to do with whether or not it is. This is a shock, though, to the system. And this idea that uh, we have an inventory overhang, we think it's going to get bigger as consumers pull back low saving rates, 3.5 percent versus 8 percent where it was before COVID. And uh, and and so we'll see. We think this holiday season is going to be pretty tough.